Hi YouTube! Today I'm going to be doing a video review on Party In My Pants Pads. Um, they have a website called PartyPantsPads.com and you can find all of their pads there. I actually do not have them all. Um, I have the Dim... Dimmy? No. I have the Lux Liner. <laughs> Sorry. I have the small pad, the medium pad, and the large pad. They also come in a thong liner, a mini liner, a demi liner, which is like it's the size of the small pad basically, and then the demi liner is a little bit wider. Then they have a super pad and a queen pad. And the queen is actually the biggest pad they have. Um, it's 15.5 inches long and three and a half inches wide, so it's pretty big, <laughs> um, which is great for overnights, plus size, um, postpartum, things like that. I personally don't have a flow that heavy, so I, I am very happy with what I have. Um, they're super, super thin. One thing I would recommend if you get this brand is a few wing extenders. Um, it tells you right there what size it is on the pad. But the pads to me are just a little bit too thin. It would be right like this if it wasn't for the wing extender. So for me, a pad, you know, this that would be great for a panty liner or something. But for a pad, you know, I just need a little bit more protection. So I get the snap extenders and I use them on the small and the medium pad. Um, and you don't even notice it's there, so it, it's not a big deal at all. The large pad, it's the same length as the medium pad. It's just a little bit wider is all. Um, which... Oh, is really helpful. <laughs> I'll show you if I can get this off. Alright. It's just a little bit wider. As you can see. Um, which is, I think is really good. Um, they're about the same absorbency. Which to be so thin. I, I really don't know how they do it. They're thinner than an ultra thin. And when I switched to cloth pads, that's something I always kind of complained about was how thick they were. I had to switch because of an allergy. Um, but I am very, very happy with this brand. Um, they are by far the thinnest I own. And very, very, very absorbent. Um, especially for the small pad. This absorbs way more than any store-bought mini pad or like the Kotex Teen or the even the Poise Liners I had tried at one point. Um, this absorbs so much more and is so, so thin. Um, they've got, I think it's nylon. It's a, it's a leak-proof backing. Um, so the only really negative I have about it is... They're a little bit narrower than I expected. Um, the Lux liner, even, it's not narrow. It's it's like a pad. <laughs> um, you you would use this if you have incontinence or maybe spotting or something. Um, but it is so absorbent. I I don't know. It's it's thinner. Thin, an ultra thin. I don't. I don't know how they do it. Um, but definitely, if you like thinner pads, or you're thinking about switching to cloth, but you don't like thick pads, this is probably the brand I would most recommend for you. Um, they have two different fabrics: cotton and flannel. They're the same thickness. Flannel is just a little bit softer, but it's all about personal preference. Um, if you do get this brand, you will need a stain stick of some kind. I found that out very quickly. Um, 
I recommend Bunch of Farmer Stain Stick. You can get it on Lunapads.com or um, you can just Google Bunch of Farmers. It's around four to five dollars per stain stick, but it lasts forever and it'll really help the extend the life of your pads. Um, as you see, I've not got any staining. I've used this one, no stains. And it's it's got white flowers, it's a light blue print, and no stains. So I think that's pretty good. Even the owl's eyes, like they're still so white. Um, without a stain stick, it wouldn't stain tremendously, but you'd definitely be able to see it. Um, bunch of farmers I had actually washed these the first time they stained a little so then I got this stain stick and it, it still came right out even though they'd been washed and dried and used after that even um, so don't think you know if you wash and dry and get a stain that they're ruined because they're not you just need a good stain stick is it um, if you're not sure about cloth pads this company, they do a panty liner giveaway. You get to pick what kind of panty liner you want, which is how I, I, I started. Um, and you just pay for shipping, which is, I think, 2 $3 maybe. And you get to try it out and see what you think. And then I ended up ordering more, obviously, and fell in love. But... Even if you don't like it, you've not really wasted all that money. Because painting liners, I think, are $10 a piece normally. Um, they do have sales on certain fabrics, but for 2 $3, it's a great deal. I would highly recommend if you're thinking about it or anything. That's less than a pack of painting liners cost. So, um... If I've missed anything or you still have questions, just leave a comment below and don't forget to tell me what you think about the video and if you've tried the brand, what you think about them. Thanks!